السلام عليكم هاي and welcome to course about circuit simulation using simscape in simulating environment this course is a part of sequence of courses related to simscape applications in electrical and electronic engineering the objective of this course is to introduce you to the basic concepts about semiscape sim simulink as well as component of electrical circuit and show you how to model them and design them and also analyze the, their behavior the requirement of this course is just MATLAB simulink software and background in electrical engineering um, I'm expecting from you to watch all the lectures videos every week besides if you have any question just feel free and ask if you need any help just ask this course is designed for electrical and electronic engineering students researchers and professionals seeking to enhance their skills in self simulation and modeling it is a comprehensive course about simulating semiscape. It will equip the student with the skill to analyze, design electrical circuit or electrical systems. Let's begin this course. I wish you the best luck in completing the course. Uh, the first module is about uh, introduction. The introduction ba basic of simulating and basic of semiscape. Let's go to MATLAB software. If you want to open Simulink environment, just click Simulink icon or write in command window Simulink and press enter. Open or click to create a blank model, just click here. This window you can create in it your own project. If you need any blocks, just press here. As you know, a simulink blocks represent basic mathematical operation of the system. When you connect simulink block together, the resulting diagram is equivalent to mathematical and modeling or representation of the system under design. It is mathematical representation or you write simulink here and press enter also you can reach at the same page to open simulink you can write simulink in command window or you just click on the simulink icon create blank model and you can reach to this window and this is the library as I said, uh, as I told you. Let us go to Semiscape. To open Semiscape, just write down here SSC underscore new and press enter. A Semiscape is software. It's software that have a library with a library. This library contains blocks and these blocks are represent this physical network. This block that represent a physical network. Press library and go down here yeah, yeah, semiscape. Press semiscape. There is a fundamental library, utilities, battery, and so on. Electrical fluids and so on. Simiscape software is a set of block libraries and a special simulating feature for modeling physical system. It means it is a particular suit to simulating system that consists of the real physical component. It is different from Simulink. In Simulink, Simulink blocks represent mathematical and here represent a physical component. It is more real than Simulink.
Cityscape Library. As you see here, it contains a lot of blocks, represent different physical systems. Here we are. Cityscape Fundamental Library. In Fundamental Library, there is electrical gas and so on. According to your requirement, you choose whatever you want. A utility also. The solver in Semiscape is this. This is a solver. Solver of Semiscape. And here in electrical, in fundamental, electrical, we got electrical elements, capacitor, resistor, inductor, and so on. The switches. And we have sensors, sensors for current and voltage. In simulating current measurement and voltage measurement, here are sensors. As we said, we are deal with physical system. Uh, a sources, DC, AC, different sources of current and voltage control it, and DC and AC sources. To make things clear, let us start by this small circuit. This circuit, we need like to measure current voltage of this circuit. First of all, let us represent this circuit in simulating environments by using Cityscape library. We need DC source and just resistor. Let us start from the beginning. You write down SSC underscore new. Press enter. You can reach this window. This window contains of solver and block simulating to Simiscape and scope connected with Simiscape to simulating block. Raise this, we don't need it. Also, this we don't need it. Go to library, look for Simiscape, go to foundation library, electrical, electrical elements, look for resistor, go back to electrical and Choose electrical source, look for DC voltage source. Also, we need reference. Reference and solver are most important blocks for all our models. Connect the circuit and connect the the solver in any point. If if you need to measure voltage, current, and power, I need to see the results. So here, there is a connection between semiscape and simulating by using this block. The semiscape blocks in blue and simulating in black. To measure the current, go to electrical sensor and take current sensor and voltage sensor to measure the voltage. Connect current sensor in series with the with your model. And connect voltage in parallel. You want to run, I don't know.
sorry. Very simple circuit. You need to measure the voltage and the current. Connect the voltage sensor in parallel and the current sensor in series with your model. To see the result, you need a scope. You need block to convert from semiscape to simulink. As I told you, semiscape, all blocks in blue, simulink in black. Let us get back to our circuit. DC source 50, the resistor 25. Yeah, it's 50 volt. the result. Current is 2 ampere, voltage is 50. According to the Ohm law, and this given value, the current is voltage divided by resistor. 50 divided by 25 equal 2 ampere. What about the power? The power is the multiplication of voltage and current. Okay. If you want to model the power, you need simulink block called product for a math here, math operation. I'm looking for the product product. I'm going to multiply current voltage and I can expand this scope to three layout apply okay press enter Here the result 2, 50, and 100. Because it is DC circuit and resistive load, the output is DC. Direct current, direct voltage, and also power. Because the power is resulting from multiplying current and voltage. Also, we can like model more complicated circuits and find the voltage current drop of voltage 
power from these circuits. Uh, so see you at the next uh, lecture. It's going to be about more complicated circuit, RL circuit, RC circuit, RLC circuit, low pass filter, and so on. Bye. Bye.